the stranger that is within the the gap gate. Read from 11. Just read, that's it? Read from 11. From uh, oh, oh. four and six days the Lord made heaven and earth to see and that all that in them is and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit all the thee, thou shalt not steal. Adultery. Adultery. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. And all the people saw the thunderings, and the lightnings, and the noise of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they were moved and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Speak go with us, and we will hear. But let, let not God speak with us. Let lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God is come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. And the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where God was. And the Lord said unto Moses, Thus thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Ye have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. Ye shall not make with me gods of silver, neither shall ye make unto me gods of gold. An altar, an altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shalt sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings and thy peace offerings. Thank you. <clears throat> so, that's the commandment, that's Exodus 20. So, the first commandment, that thing is started where thou shalt have no other gods before me. I say, and God speak, and God speak all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Oh, so, so he says, he says, thou shalt have no other gods before me. That, that means that. Uh, you don't worship nothing, no other gods before me. So that you shall have no other gods before me. That talking about God, true and living God. So, thou shall have no other gods before me. So, in the earlier days, men, some men were like gods. They call themselves gods. They have God behavior. They can do God thing. You know what I mean? Certain stuff. So. God showing us him is a true and living God, so none of them should be put before him. Right? And then he said, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. <clears throat> Those become idols, like people have a lot of figure of a of a chicken that runs, of figures like 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 making things like a horse that running, you know, it's not a real horse, it's a fake horse, you know, stuff like that. Those stuff is not orthodox, you know. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation and them that hate me <laughs> so you see what that saying if you hate god you gonna make if you when you have kids if you hate god you gonna make your kids suffer your kids kids suffer 
first, second, and then the kids after that. So your grandkids and your great grandkids. Yeah, third generation because of their behavior. So sometimes that's why there's so much suffering in family members because some members before us never believe in God. They hate God. They never love God. They never think that God is necessary to bring in their home. But as uh, John R. David, one of them said, for, 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 as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. So everybody will serve what they want to serve. But you know that when you're in your house and you have that undulterated jurisdiction over you and your family, you're going to serve the Lord <coughs> and they're going to follow you. <coughs> so, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So we have to keep the commandments. We have to best keep the commandments, you know. We don't always have to be good at it, but at least we can try. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. You know what that means, John? Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain, like on around you on a playing the game. And every minute, oh my God, oh yeah, my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff people. like that. That is not a <coughs> That's joke. Using the Lord's name in vain. Yeah, that is using the Lord's name in vain. That's what I always tell y'all, no, don't do that. Or somebody doing this, oh, on God, on God. Like, that is ungodly talking. That's, that, 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 that's a different type of John, a different generation of behavior. <coughs> You know, some people who think that they don't fear God because that's what they do. You know, a lot of people take the fear of God out of their kids. Like, I want you to fear God more than me. I don't want you to fear me more than God. Fear God more than me because I can only beat your ass and take something stuff from you and do whatever. God can take your whole life, your whole soul, everything. You know, I can only punish you or do whatever it is. You know. To whatever extent it is. So don't fear me like how you fear God. Yeah, I want to respect me. I understand that I'm trying to teach them the right and the proper way where God tell me if you tell them. So I'm just the messenger. So don't kill the messenger. Thou shalt not. Um, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Like today, as I tell you, we're trying to keep the Sabbath. Most things are seven. You know, there's seven continents, there's seven seas, there's seven a lot of stuff. Seven is the number of complete. The Lord built the, 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 the heaven and earth in seven days. In it, he do all his labor, which today is the seventh day and he rests. Six days he work, seventh day he rests, you know. So, six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So, if you bring somebody here to your house, and we keep in the Sabbath, that person should not get up and go do no work in your yard, or go do none of that. They need to keep the Sabbath or they need to leave. Just if you don't want to keep the Sabbath, you ain't going to be there on the Sabbath. Because as I tell us, God is a serious God. You don't care who for feelings you hurt as long as it's not God's feeling you hurt. That's it. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So, for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them is, and rested the seventh day I rested the seventh day so it's showing you that God work and then rested on the seventh day where wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it the Sabbath day is a blessed day son honor thy mother and father that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee so your honor your mother and your father meaning you respect them not worship them respect them but if your mother and your father leading you a different way you as kids know right and wrong also to be accountable because you also know right and wrong because some people not because your parents tell you to do it you know it is wrong so you question your parents why you tell me if you do this this is not right you know because we read the bible we talk and we understand you know 
you know, stuff like that. So, thou shall not kill. You don't need to kill nobody. Thou shall not commit adultery. If you're married, you don't need to cheat for your wife. Thou shall not steal. You don't need to take people's things, you know. I don't worry about that to do as no little thief. I don't worry about that to do no. So I just leave things alone, that's all. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Nobody at all. Don't tell no lie. You know what I mean? And you say a neighbor doesn't necessarily mean the person who lives beside you. That's an understatement. A neighbor can be somebody way down at the end. A neighbor can be somebody who you've been associated with in living in the past. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Thou shalt not cover it. Thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. You see a neighbor with a nice car, don't hit your neighbor for the nice car. Or you see a neighbor with a hot wife, don't hit your neighbor for your wife. You know what I mean? With your own. And all. The people saw this thundering and the relightings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. <laughs> so if God don't speak with them, they know they're going to die. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God is come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. And the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where God was. And that's how God gave Moses the Ten Commandments to deliver unto us as men now when the bible talk about men it talk about overall both male female whatever it is men you know and then you see everything we're going on here right now everything we're going on right near here is called like revelation because revelation is the last thing the closing chapter there's a book in the Bible called Revelation, and it tells you all about all type of stuff that is happening, all type of stuff that is going to happen. Because there's twenty, think I said there's twenty prophecy in the Bible, twenty five prophecy in the Bible, and twenty has already been fulfilled. And I say when all the prophecy that the Lord speak come to a close. That's when he's coming back for his kingdom, you know. So, me could say I read a prayer and then you can go relax yourself a little, you know. Mm -hmm. So, me could say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all the evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Tell God something, Sarah. Tell him something? Yeah, make a prayer. So something, i talk to God. Say a word of prayer. Now, if you see, we have to start learning to pray. We can't pray to pray because we have more to speak. And you see, when we pray to God, God listen. We heard a familiar voice, as I said. Just like you in a crowd and you call your mama or your dad or your brother or somebody, they're going to hear you because they used to hear your voice, you know. So whatever small it is, whatever short it is, when you come from your heart, you say it, you know. You know. Thank you, Lord, for family, our food, our clothes, our food to eat. I pray this day, thank you for this day. Today is a gift. Yesterday's history and tomorrow's history. Amen. 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 Dad, says I'll something. Don't be shy. Just say something. You know? God, I accept the words of your mouth and the meditation of your heart. No matter how small it is. Amen. 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 
and then you need to tell something. <laughs> and you learn a little new behind or something. And that is something. Actually, can I go again? Yeah. Uh, we're going to take people putting clothes on our back and giving us food. Uh, thank you for looking over our family. Uh, dear God, if you're unique, make sure she gets the right to answer. Uh, and just keep looking over us to make sure everything's safe, good. Just pray my sister and grandma is good. Uh, amen. Amen. You need to something. So I'm going to relax, you know, changing the clothes on, you know. So 11 o'clock now. Changing the clothes on, you know. Putting myself perfectly, you know. Alright. 